I am Father Sonny Sebastian. I am a Divine Word Missionary Priest. And this is I Got Today, your daily reflection. It's so nice to share this reflection with you. The world is changing, changing at a bewildering speed. Not only new technologies, but new knowledge and new ideas continue to surface. Our rapidly changing societies invite us to express the core of our faith in new ways. Therefore, the church's evangelizing work has to be in response to where people actually are. It is not good just handing out the same old things in the same old way. If the church is to remain relevant, if it is to continue speaking in a meaning, meaningful way to ra the rapidly changing world, if it is to keep up with the new knowledge, and ideas which change our ways of understanding the world in which we live, it has to renew itself constantly in the way it expresses its message, in the way it structures itself, in the way it communicates its message, and in the way it dialogues with the world. The world may not like what the church has to say, but it should be able to understand it and be stimulated by it. A changing world involves new challenges of what is right and wrong. A changing world brings about new social problems, new forms of poverty, of injustice, of exploitation and discrimination, of lack of freedom and the absence of peace. Hence, there, have, there has to be new ways of preaching and witnessing to the gospel truth of love, of justice, of freedom, and of peace. For this, we need, to, we need the prophetic role of the church, built on the foundations of the tradition and its continuity. We have to avoid the two tendencies, either of digging in and looking only to the past, or of neglecting the traditions and bringing in innovations with no foundation. The readings today emphasize the presence of God in the work of His church. Peter's faith and acknowledgement of Jesus as the Messiah, the Christ and Savior King is rewarded by His being made the foundation on which Christ will build His church. Through Peter, Jesus gives His church a guarantee of never-ending protection. And he gives to Peter as his representative the powers which he himself had received from the Father, the keys of the kingdom. As we celebrate this feast of the chair of Saint Peter, let us both remain faithful to the traditions which have come down to us over the years and at the same time be ever ready to make the necessary changes and adaptations by which the message of Christ can be effectively communicated to all those who still have a hunger for that, true, that truth and that love. So let's pray. Let's pray today for the whole church all over the world. Let's pray for our Pope as the focus of unity for Christians everywhere. Let's pray for those who while remaining faithful to the core traditions, are creatively finding new ways to proclaim the message of the kingdom to people everywhere. Let's pray for those places where the church is working under great difficulties. Let's pray for our own parish communities that it may truly be both loyal to the faith of our fathers and have a true missionary spirit to proclaim Christ to all those among whom we live, we work, and we move.